people can have let me ask you a question uh conrad now that i have you here and we don't have you here that much you've been watching AEW since its, its inception correct yes sir tell me what you think they're getting right and tell me what you think they're not doing so right you know, I, I still enjoy the show, and mm-hmm. I, I, I watch wrestling from a different perspective than a lot of wrestling fans. Uh, but I do that in my life. I don't focus on the negative. I focus on what I like. I watch very little stuff live. But what would you like to, like you say, they could do better here, or maybe this is something they should emphasize more, or, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just oh, saying, no, no, what, I do you, what do you, yeah. I feel like... Um, a lot of times the matches are really dream matches and they're all fantastic matches, but I feel like I wish there was a little more story. And I feel like in WWE, there was a little less story and a little more wrestling. I don't think they have the perfect mix just yet, but because we had so much story from WWE for so long that when AEW first came out, it was a real breath of fresh air. But the idea that sometimes that AEW show starts and man, there's two in the ring and they're starting right now. That beats the out of a 20 minute promo that we heard the same thing last week and the week before and so i just feel like AEW feels more gritty and less paint by numbers like it annoys me it's a little thing but i hate on wwe when once a guy gets thrown to the outside you know here comes a commercial that's just too predictable for me and i don't feel that that's the same in AEW. and or i a dive. That. yeah uh, let me ask you this because we you had a conversation with eric that we played on this podcast and discussed, and it was an, it was an interesting one. When uh, you were just discussing, and Eric was talking about, because me and Conan kind of like have a, have a similar take on this, because we used to work in WCW and stuff, is that Eric has like Eric trusts the the structure of the WWE storytelling better than he does AEW storytelling. Remember that kind of, that conversation you had? Yeah, I do. This 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 is what I me and Conan would agree. I, I maybe you agree. This is where I where. where I think is Eric is right, and where AEW needs to improve, bro. Whether the storylines are good or bad, the way they tell the stories in WWE, it's like they present a lot of packages. Like if you're a viewer and you're tuning in, maybe you missed last week and everything, but like you turn you turn the TV on, there's a good two to three minute package of a major angle explaining everything in detail up to the point. Okay, now we're going live, and you know what's going on here. Can I give you an I example? Think- Go ahead. Because I just saw this. Uh, not too long ago, we saw uh, Christian turn on Jungle Boy and cut a big promo. Mm-hmm. And I did not see that one. I was traveling or out of town or whatever, but all my friends told me about it. And now the next week, I made sure I caught, you know, well, let's see what happens with the fallout or the follow up. And they did not show a recap of him turning on Jungle Boy. Mm. Right. And I could not believe that they didn't show it because in my head, I don't have to go watch last week. They'll show me when he's on his way to the ring or he'll throw to the video screen or we'll see it. But it didn't happen. And I think almost WWE does it too often. Well, sometimes they'll say earlier tonight and I get that. But sometimes they'll play a replay of something that happened right before they'll break right before the break. And it, that's maybe too much. But I do think AEW doesn't do that enough. But I understand why Tony does it. It's probably not just Tony's call. There's other people involved. They have so many wrestlers that they're trying to feature. I don't mean for this to sound derogatory, but I get why it might sound that way. It's 10 pounds of in a five pound bag, as we say in the South. You've got too much you're trying to cram in. So as a result, we can't let anything breathe. And so when he's out there doing his promo about here's why I did what I did to Jungle Boy, we didn't see what he did to Jungle Boy. You had to watch last week. And I feel like sometimes if you miss being the elite or you miss Rampage or you miss Dynamite, Bro, you're behind. You got to consume it all to keep it connected. And as a casual fan, I could see how that would get confusing. That never happens in WWE because they hit right. you over the head with the replays. Well, maybe well, right. And they and I'm going to tell, no, 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 no. tell you where they're the most guilty of this, Conrad. Uh, with the Japanese girls that you've never heard of them in your life, they just show up. You're supposed to know who they are, you know, and they don't get over, you know. And that that's like, you know, it's almost like imagine if you were to watch UFC and they didn't tell you who the fighters were before the match. You know, those little minute things that they yeah. do like on the fighters and, yep. they'll, you know, they'll each talk about each other and you have a little bit of a connection before the match. And you know who the f- they are. That drives me up a wall. I, I think I think that the, the, this is a lot philosophically. I think the, the, the error I think they make is that they they assume it's like, OK, if you're going to watch our show, if you want to know what's going on, here are all these other shows you can watch, like YouTube clips and stuff. And like, wait a second, you know, like you can't, 
you know what well, I'm that's saying? what it's you like have commentators like, for, and that's what you right, have right. rolls kinda, for. They, they, they like, they like, they like, they like write the show to their base, to their fans. Yeah. But it's like if you want to draw new fans, you kind of have to like, you know, explain more stuff. You know, that may be repetitive to the to your fans. But you know, it's it's good to explain to people that are trying to get invested in it. You know, like because like perfect example, they open up a show with Jericho versus Santana in a hair versus hair match. They made the angle the week before, and they didn't recap the angle. It's like we have a hair versus hair match. Open up the show, and I'm like, all right. If you like, you know, why are these guys having a hair versus hair match? Like, you know, you need to cut it. You know, you know, say that that that's. I think the fact that like because they they're more in ring and their fans like the in ring and we they promote good wrestling and stuff. Everything that like I think you kind of agree. Like sometimes when a match is 13 minutes, you know, maybe nine or 10 would have worked. And the other three to four minutes could have been invested into some character development or some, you know, a package or something to explain why these guys are wrestling each other. You know, and I, I think that's the difference. That, that's why I said the original conversation you had with Eric. I think that's where Eric is talking about where, where WWE structure in their storytelling is just more comprehensive than it is in, in, in AW. And that, that's, you know, but, but, but they're, that's where they're different, I think, you know. I, I would think that, you know, what you just described to me as a production thing, more so than creative. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't think recapping necessarily falls into creative. I hear what you're saying, and I agree with you, but I just think creatively what WWE has been cranking out hasn't gotten me very excited in a while. So it's hard for me to say that that's better. But from a production standpoint, yeah, I don't think anybody does it better than WWE. But right. to Eric's point, he also says, it's sometimes too clean. It's too sanitized. And right. it almost feels at times like Disney on ice. He doesn't mean that in a bad way. He just means like everything has its place. Whereas sometimes AEW feels a little bit like ECW in that it is a little more gritty. Uh, it, it's not as produced, if that's the right word. Right. Right. Exactly. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!